you are a member of PDP Laban, and you are a personal friend of the president, right? Were, were you ex expecting, like, like I said, th these are exciting times to be in politics. But were you surprised by what has happened in the past two years, considering the campaign in 2016 for the presidential race? Were you surprised by what's happening now? Well, I'm surprised in the extent that I never thought that the president would react so badly to those who mm. were against him and uh, react so well to those who had, he had no business being in bed with, you know, <laughs> Gloria Arroyo and, uh, and uh, Bong Bong Marcos. So I was surprised there. But I felt that, you see, in analyzing the, the president, he really has no agenda. Mm. He has no desire to continue in office beyond this term. Mm -hmm. See, his daughter, Sarah, is not even running for, for the Senate. Mm. When she could run for the Senate and run for president again in 2022. Mm. No, she decided not to. So he's really got no, he just wants to finish his term. And we want him to finish his term because what will we do? We will have another answer mm. three or answer four. And then because pagkakagulo ulit, no? So I thought that maybe somebody will be able to come in and say, hey, wait a minute, guys. Can we, can we tone, the, uh, tone mm. this down a bit? Wag mo muna sabihin yan, wag mo muna sabihin yan. Let's see whether we can have a meeting of the minds on some things that on which we can agree. Mm. Then we can disagree on the other things. Mm. But the way it's going, halos hindi nag-uusap yung, yung dalawang side. But, eh. but as, as Annie pointed out, you, you knew him before. Yeah. Uh, you knew him as mayor uh, as well uh, of, of Davao. He already had a reputation in Davao as a, as a tough guy, as a yes. tough, as a tough yes. leader. Yeah. And yet, as he, as he moves to the presidency, presidency, as you said, you were surprised by how, how, uh, how vociferous he could, he could get and how, how, uh, how strong he could go against uh, perceived uh, enemies. enemies yeah. I, what, where is the gap there from what you knew of him as, as a tough-talking, tough-acting mayor and how he eventually was in, 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 as a president? I didn't know him that well when he was mayor, but I, I, I knew him, no? Uh, in, in, in the sense that perhaps he didn't know how much people would react to his style mm. as president. As mayor of Davao, niwala ka lang kalaban dun sa, sa Davao naman eh. No? And so people will give you time and you have only three years. Mm. All right. But now you have six years and he reacted or overreacted to those who are against him. And I, and, and, and I think that there is a time for him to say, wait a minute, I'm not going to put this guy in jail in the first place. Let's see what he has to say. And maybe we can kind of find a way where we can patch things up and, going, and go in the right direction. We have, it, it, it's really difficult to put your finger on it. But I know that we have to make that try to bring them together because you cannot go on this way. Mm. I, it's you, you, one thing that, um, uh, I, obviously some, many people had been saying, you know, one problem with when a mayor runs for, for a, a successful mayor, when a successful mayor runs for, for national office, he will, he will soon realize that certain things do not scale. I mean, certain things are tolerated, even by the public, yeah. uh, even by a public that talks about human rights and democracy. The reality is there are things on the local level that people know, will tolerate, but it doesn't scale when it gets to, to the national level. Now, to your point that, sana may kumakausap sa kanya. Uh, from the little that you know, uh, the president, and from, from what you know of this government, is the problem that, that nobody is attempting to be that voice of reason or is there actually now a realization that actually he doesn't listen? I don't know which, uh, which of the two is uh, predominant, but I don't know anybody who's tried to talk to him. No one. Even his own cabinet members, they're scared of him. Mm. All right? <laughs> I mean, so <laughs> they will try to do it the roundabout way but not to directly talk to him. Mm. Uh, so 
I, I, I think it, it's worth a try anyway. I mean, if, if it not, nothing comes out of it, okay. Okay. But at least we made a try. 